Welcome to your 30-minute stress relief yoga practice. The following sequence includes gentle yoga postures and stretches designed to bring you a sense of calm. This practice is for all levels. Either a yoga block or a pillow is recommended, but if you don't have either of these, you'll be perfectly fine without them. We'll begin by laying on the belly, coming into a belly down Shavasana. So make your way all the way down to the ground, extend your legs and arms behind you, take up as much space as you'd like. Allow your feet to fall out as they naturally are, place the palms face up, and gently rest one side of your face on the mat. Wiggle your hips back and forth a few times until you come into a comfortable position. Allow your eyes to close and begin to settle into the earth. With your eyes closed, start to become aware of your physical body. Feel the points of contact with the ground. As you begin to connect to your breath, feel your belly and chest expand into the floor beneath you gently massaging your spine and back. With each breath, feel your body sinking further and further into the ground. Feel a deep sense of support and comfort as you lie here. Continue to follow the natural cycle of your breath. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly start to lift your head up and turn your face to the opposite side, resting the other side of your face on the mat. Unclench your jaw. Soften your eyebrows. Continue to feel the heaviness of your body. Notice where you may be holding on to any tension and give yourself permission to let go. With each exhale, feel your muscles relaxing, releasing. Notice the pause between your inhales and your exhales. Allow the mind to settle into this space of stillness and calm. Remind yourself that there is nowhere you need to be other than right here, right now. There's nothing you need to do or accomplish other than breathe and relax in the present moment. With your next breath, Gently lift your gaze forward, placing your hands underneath your shoulders, pressing yourself up through a tabletop position. Coming back into a child's pose, big toes together, knees can be together or apart, reaching the arms forward and resting your forehead on the mat. Feel your hips pressed back towards your heels. Soften the back of your neck. Come back to your breath as you start to breathe into the sides of your body, feeling the ribs expand, feeling the belly soften. Coming into a child's pose twist, gently lift your gaze 
and thread your right arm underneath your left arm, placing your right cheek and your right shoulder on the mat, right palm face up. Let your arms become heavy. Keep pressing your hips back towards your heels. With your next breath, gently unthread the right arm, extending it out in front of you, bringing the left arm underneath the right arm, left palm face up, resting your left cheek and your left shoulder on the mat, feeling the stretch in the front of your shoulder, relaxing your head. With your next breath, slowly unthread your left arm, extending both arms straight out in front of you, resting your forehead on the mat for one breath. On your next inhale, gently press yourself up to come onto your hands and knees. Walk your hands forward a few inches, tuck your toes under, lift your hips for downward facing dog. Feet are hip width distance apart, hands are shoulder width distance apart. You can keep a micro bend in your knees here. Allow your head and neck to hang heavy in between the arms, energetically drawing the heels down towards the ground. Keep your legs as they are and start to walk your hands back towards your feet. Coming into ragdoll pose, folding over the legs, bending the knees as much as you'd like, bringing your hands to opposite elbows, draping your belly over your thighs. You can shake your head from side to side to release any tension in your neck. Unclench your jaw. Soften the muscles in your face. Release your hands back down to the mat, walking yourself back out into downward facing dog, grounding down through the hands and feet. Transitioning into Pigeon Pose, gazing forward, drawing your right knee towards your right elbow, pressing your right shin down, pressing your hips down and extending your left leg behind you. Don't worry too much about getting your right shin parallel to the front of the mat. If that's in your practice, feel free to take that variation. But for now, just focus on keeping your hips squared towards the front of the mat. So try to keep yourself From rolling over onto your right hip, try to keep the weight even between both legs. Feeling a deep stretch in the front of your left hip flexor. If you need to, you can place a blanket, a pillow, or a block underneath your right hip for support. Otherwise, place a prop down in front of you, and then slowly start to walk your hands forward. Maybe you can come down onto your forearms. And then just rest your forehead on something here, whether that's a prop or your hands or the mat. 
Just allow your forehead to rest down on something to send signals to your nervous system to relax and let go. Close your eyes here. Start to come back to the natural flow of your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose. Allowing any tension in your body to completely melt away. On your next inhale, slowly start to lift your head up, come up onto your palms, remove any props from your mat, plant your hands down, start to tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee and step your right foot back to meet your left foot for a downward facing dog. Pause here. Noticing any subtle differences. And then we'll switch sides. Gazing forward, draw your left knee towards your left elbow. Press your left shin down, press your hips down, and keep your right leg extended behind you. So find whatever variation feels best for you here. Left knee is bent, back leg is straight. Keep your hips squared towards the front of the mat. And then once you're ready, you can start to walk your hands forward, maybe coming down onto the forearms, perhaps using a prop underneath your forehead. Focus on relaxing your entire upper body, your neck, your head, your shoulders. Feeling the stretch in your lower body, your outer left hip, your right hip flexor. And take this next minute or so to breathe and relax. Slowly start to lift your head up, coming onto your hands, removing any props from your mat, placing your hands down, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, and step your left foot back, coming into downward facing dog. 
pause here. Notice how the legs and the hips feel. With your next breath, gently drop your knees down to the mat, cross your ankles, and come into butterfly pose at the center of your mat. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees fall out towards the sides, creating a diamond shape with the legs. Rest your hands on top of your ankles or your shins and lengthen through your spine. Ground down through your sit bones, preparing for a few neck stretches. With your next breath, close your eyes and draw your chin towards your chest, stretching out the back of your neck. On your next inhale, slowly draw your right ear towards your right shoulder, feeling the stretch along the left side of the neck, relaxing your left shoulder. As you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. As you inhale, draw your left ear towards your left shoulder, stretching out the right side of your neck. Again, exhale, chin to chest, coming through center. As you inhale, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, back through center, and then lift your head back up. Stretching out the front of the neck, slowly start to tilt your head back if that's comfortable for you, lifting your chin slightly but trying not to compress the back of your neck. Keep your spine straight, feeling the stretch in your throat. Slowly lifting your head back up. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. As you exhale, fold forward in your butterfly pose. Rounding through the upper back. Relaxing the head down towards the feet. Feel the stretch in your hips. Relax your arms. Relax your legs. On your next inhale, gently lift yourself up. Place your hands underneath your knees and draw your knees together. Making sure you're at the center of your mat and then making your way all the way down to the ground. Releasing your back and your spine to the mat. Hug your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths here. And then gently place your palms on top of your knees, straighten out the arms. Keep your knees together and just start to find some hip circles. So you're drawing your knees and small circles in one direction. So drawing your knees out towards the side, in towards your body, towards the opposite side, 
and then away from the body. Switch directions of your circles if you haven't yet already. Massaging out your low back, releasing any tension from the sacrum. Slowly find stillness. Keep your right knee hugged in towards your chest and extend your left leg long, pressing your left heel down towards the mat. Start to roll out the right ankle. So rolling that foot in one direction and then the opposite direction. Find stillness. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee Take a big breath in. As you exhale, draw your right leg across your body all the way over towards the left side to come into a recline twist. Your left hand can stay on top of your right knee and you can extend your right arm out towards the side, bringing your gaze over your right shoulder if that's comfortable for your neck. Relaxing your shoulder blades down into the ground and breathing into this twist. Gently bring your head back to center. Draw your right leg back across your body, hugging your right knee and hugging your left knee into your chest. Keep your left knee hugged in and extend your right leg long. Start to roll out through the left ankle and then move in the opposite direction. Place your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, draw your left leg across your body all the way over towards the right side, keeping your right hand on top of the outside of your left knee and extending the left arm out towards the side. Gaze over your left shoulder, relaxing your left shoulder down. Breathing into your low back. Closing your eyes. And relaxing into the twist. With your next breath, gently draw your left leg across your body, hugging both knees into your chest, bringing your forehead towards your knees. And then slowly release your head back down and gently extend your legs out in front of you, bringing your heels towards the outer edges of the mat, letting your toes fall out towards the sides. Resting your arms alongside your body with the palms face up. Closing your eyes and allowing your eyelids to become heavy. Begin to feel your body completely relax. Feel your limbs become heavy. Allow your breath to be natural and easy. Allow yourself to rest here in your Shavasana for these next few minutes. And I'll call you back when it's time.
gently start to bring your awareness back into this space. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Begin to deepen your breath. Finding movement in your body. Maybe rolling the joints, the wrists, the ankles. Extend the arms up overhead. Find a full body stretch. And then when you're ready, slowly roll over onto one side of your body. Bending your knees, coming into a fetal position. Resting here for a moment, allowing the energetic effects of the Shavasana to settle into your body. And once you're ready, you can slowly begin to prop yourself up using the help of your hands. Coming into a comfortable seated position, resting your hands in your lap, keeping your eyes closed. And bring your hands together at the center of your chest, pressing the palms together. And finding a moment just to thank yourself for showing up on your mat today. For finding this time for yourself. Bowing the head in gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice today. I hope that it's left you feeling relaxed and at peace. And I hope to see you in the next class soon. This video is sponsored by Happy Haves, a holistic wellness brand that creates eco-friendly aromatherapy products. Happy Haves was kind enough to send me their earth diffuser, which came in a really beautiful box, and all of their products come in recyclable packaging to help the environment. They have their own essential oils, which are 100% pure and organically farmed. They have a six-pack gift box, which comes with six different scents. All of their oils are non-toxic, paraben and sulfate-free, and completely natural. You can use your aroma diffuser in five easy steps. Step one, simply fill up your measuring cup with clean, filtered water. Step two, take the top off and pour the water into the diffuser. Step three, pick out your favorite essential oil. My go-to tends to be lavender because I really enjoy the smell and it also helps reduce stress. Step four, add three to four drops of the essential oil into the water. And finally, step five, place the lid back on, turn on your diffuser and enjoy the natural fresh smell. This diffuser creates a soothing and peaceful atmosphere in my home, and I really just love it. Be sure to check out Happy Haves' website listed in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and for practicing with me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you soon.